Stop me if you ever heard this from a movie. So, a group of animals, animated or live action, whatever, wants to bring up two people funny enough because that character or characters don't feel like they need to, well, tell words between them and the other person's relationship. If you guess right and list all those films down in the comments, then that's this movie in a nutshell. Yo, honey stars, what is up? It's your boy, Mr. Hollywood, and I'm back again with another bango episode of Mr. Hollywood's Review. Now, on today's episode, the movie that I will be reviewing is the movie Peter Rabbit is directed by Will Knock and stars Rose Byrne, Dom Neal Gneason, Sam Neal, Daisy Whitney, and Elizabeth. D. Benke, sorry if I butchered her last name, Margot Robbie, and James Golden. At the plot for Peter Rabbit goes in there something like this. Peter Rabbit's feud with the McGregor family reaches new heights as he and Thomas McGregor compete for the affections of a kind animal lover who lives next door. Alright, so you guys heard the plot for Peter Rabbit. But what are my actual thoughts on this film? Okay, I got some pros and some cons to say about this flick right here. Now, I just gotta get this out of the way. There's one scene that actually got me in that hilariously laughing hysterically. Maybe it was intentional or maybe it was not intentional, but whatever the case may be, it had me laughing. It involves the actor Don Gneason who plays Thomas Egerton McGregor in the film. And he's in Toy Story, and he is going wild and crazy because he did get the promotion that he wants. And he just gets all bad crap crazy. Like, totally bonkers, man. I'm like, what the heck is happening? It's a total what the F moment, pretty much. And... <laughs> My gosh, it ends with him punching the teddy bear. And he's saying that, oh, well, stuffed teddy bear. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. And then continues to punch it. I'm like, holy crap. And I can just hear from him right now. Uh, from the time that I was seeing this. Like, I was in Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and The Last Jedi. Damn it. I don't need this. I don't need this crud. <laughs> I was in Star Wars for crying out loud. But, um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, back with the film at hand. So I just had to mention that. The story on the other hand, and this is where we get to the pros, I mean the cons. I'm sorry. There are no pros in here except for maybe one or two. But the rest of them are just cons. From snatch sticks that don't really go anywhere to a story that just bland and generic of having characters saying, Oh yeah, I don't like you, I don't like you either, I'm gonna sabotage you to get you out of my life because I've lived a happy life before I met you and I'll be fine after. Oh no, there's something that's happening that's making me feel sentimental and feel me like a just bag. And well, yeah, that's that. But you also got some uh, um, moments in here. There's like WTF, like I just mentioned. And there's some scenes as well that just flat out annoy you. There are some characters in here that just flat out annoy you. Like, like the movie opens up with uh, boats flying in the sky. And I'm like, okay. And they're singing. Yeah, you hear me, you hear me right, people. They sing. And I'm like, okay, 
Well, I'm for one of characters who sing. So, you know, okay. But it turns out, no, they get hit. And that's the, that's the running gag. That's the running joke for the rest of the film. And I'm like, no. And I was saying to myself, I'm going to grow to hate you guys. I find you guys annoying throughout this film, huh? And it was like they were saying, yep. Oh, my gosh. Look, I can see why kids will be interested in this. Because it's all about bunnies. And trust me, I'm an animal lover myself. I love bunnies as well. But this movie just did do it for me. And another thing, too, I have to add. Speaking of bunnies, James Golden, who plays Peter Rabbit. I did it. I know he's playing Peter Rabbit, but all I can think of at the back of my head throughout this entire flick, I was like, that's high five. He's annoying. I hate it. And same goes for Peter Rabbit. He's a complete douchebag. I'm sorry to say, but it's true. I don't know if he was like this in the books. I can't really compare him to his character in the books because I haven't read the books, but... Yeah, they just betrayed him as a douchebag, selfish, and self-centered. At one point, a character actually calls him, calls him out on his selfishness. And I'm like, okay, I was applauding for that character. And, oh my gosh, uh, there's other things in here that I don't want to... Oh yeah, there's De Daisy Whitney who's in this film. She's, I guess, some narrator of this. She doesn't need this. I mean, she was in Star Wars and she was in uh, Moto on the Old Gen Express. But two films that I've reviewed, by the way. She's a much more better actress. She deserves more than this Peter Rabbit type of crap. And Margot Mar Mar Robbie is in here, who I didn't recognize. I don't know what character she was playing, but I can think of her when I... When I heard that Margot Robbie was in it, I'm like, that's Honey Quinn. She's better in the Suicide Squad, and she's, from what I'm hearing, she's better than in the Itania. Uh, James Gordon, I can't tell you if he's good or bad, but well, I can tell you right away, he's bad in here. And Dom Gleason, man, why? You have Star Wars. Stick with that. Don't stick to the nose. Common denominator. Don't be like Jason Lee. Which, by the way, I love Average Chipmunks. I'm not bashing on Average Chipmunks, by the way. And then you have Sam Neill, who I didn't really know who was in this film. I don't know who he plays, but whoever plays, man, he was in Jurassic Park. And Jurassic Park 3. He does not need this. There's a lot of actors that I can say that don't really need this, and they really don't. Uh, they don't need to own that. I, I mean, I get it. It's Hollywood. It's actors. You know, you got to own your paycheck some way, save or form. But next time, pick a better agent or at least request for something better. At least read the entire script first before you say yes or no, before you agree to sign it. But yeah, my recommendation, well, first of all, I gotta get to my grade real quick. This is leaning towards a C minus and a D. So, a C minus. Because this movie is bad. But it's not as bad as many people would think it is. Um, even though I didn't really say that much positive to say about it. And. My recommendation, oh, wow. Well, if you if you like the books, then you probably will enjoy this. Uh, if parents of your kids force you at gunpoint or at real point to see this film, go ahead, take them. It, um, it would kill you to spend like an hour and a half uh, with your kids and spending quality time with them watching Peter Rabbit doing crazy, ridiculous stuff. But... Um, for others who are not interested, I would just say wait for it to come on Red Bo Redbox or Netflix because this movie, it's not worth your time, money, or patience. I saw this at the Mine Price. I saw this at 10.50 a.m. on a Friday morning 
And, well, all I can say is that this movie is a masterpiece compared to Fifty Shades Feed. And, and this is not Fifty Shades Feed. And that was my review for Peter Webb and the Nuts Out, people. I hope you guys really enjoyed this episode. Now, take a moment to smash that like button if you guys really enjoyed this video. Comment down below and tell me what do you think of Peter Rabbit if you've seen it. Or are you planning on seeing it? Whatever the case may be, y'all. Comment down below and let me know how fun are you boy on social media. All the links are in the description. And while we're at it, make sure to share this video with your friends and family. And let them know that Mr. Hollywood exists. And... You can support this channel by supporting to my Patreon. Just donating one dollar will help or not. But if you can't do that for whatever reason, it's okay. By you subscribing to the channel, commenting on the videos, and showing your support is support a love for us. I gotta say this again. I know I said this only, but I'll say it again. Thank you all for 100, I mean for 700 subscribers. And yes, my Q&A video will be announcing tomorrow, so make sure to pretty much leave a comment in this video or the video that I announced the Q&A. Leave your questions in those comments because I will be answering every question that you guys have. Either ask me on YouTube comments or simply just ask me on Twitter and Instagram. Or Snapchat if you have it. Whatever the case may be, let me know. And you can also hit me up on Discord too. Also, send in your awesome questions. Just don't ask anything real. Okay? Don't ask anything crazy or redundant. Until my next review, I'm Mr. Hardwood. I'm telling my hundred stars that it's time to assemble. And now, uh, special thanks real quick. Thank you, Honey Stars, for making this channel possible. You guys are the ones that made this channel legit, and you guys are the ones that has helped keeping this so afloat.